Watch the smoke coming out of the building. A small electric spark may cause a major fire. When high current flows through the circuit, excessive heat is produced. It damages the electrical appliance and burns the wiring. Why should the heat be produced when excessive current flows? According to Joule's law, the amount of heat is directly proportional to current, resistance, and time of passage of current. We make use of this heating effect of current in the laundry iron, electric toaster, electric immersion heater, and fuses. A fuse is a safety device. It is a short wire made of an alloy of lead and tin. The alloy has a low melting point and low resistance. The thin wire is set in porcelain casing. The fuse is represented by a symbol as shown in the circuit. The current flow should not exceed the safe limit. Since the fuse wire is thin, has a low melting point and develops high resistance, it prevents the flow of excessive current in the circuit. Thus, we can protect costly equipment from damage due to overload or short circuit. Why should we use porcelain casing? Because porcelain is a non-conductor and withstands high temperatures. There are two types of fuse available. They are the plug-in type and the cartridge type. There is a third type of fuse called MCB miniature circuit breaker. It breaks the circuit in the event of overload and short circuits. Overload is caused by lack of maintenance, aging of equipment, thermal damage, under capacity of the power line, excessive usage of appliances, and quality of power. Sometimes we overload the electrical circuit by connecting too many appliances at a single point of wiring. Overload is also caused by switching on all the appliances connected in one section of a cable at the same time. It can also happen if a high-powered appliance is connected to a circuit designed for low-powered gadgets. The causes of short circuit are weakening of insulation, seepage of water, contact of live and neutral wires with each other, bolts or screwdrivers, for example, trapped between the live connections. We can prevent appliances from overload and short circuit by using fuses or circuit breakers suitably. Where should we connect a fuse in the circuit? The fuse is always connected to the live wire. When the fuse blows off, the entire current becomes neutral. If the fuse is connected in the neutral, the circuit remains live even after the fuse melts. This cannot prevent damage to our electrical gadgets, which will still be live. Can we use a single type of fuse for all connections of various current strengths? No. Each fuse has a specific current rating. Let us consider a fuse that can withstand up to 5 ampere of current strength. When the current exceeds this rating, the fuse wire melts and vaporizes with a small explosion. A gap is formed and the currents stop flowing. We say that the fuse has blown. 
Resistance decreases with the increase of thickness of a conductor. The thicker the fuse wire is, the greater is its capacity. You can find fuses of different current ratings in different sections of domestic wiring. Generally, there are two types of sockets used in domestic and power lines. They are 5 ampere and 15 ampere. Power cables for heaters, fans, TVs and washing machines are connected to 5 amp sockets in domestic lines. Plugs of geyser and air conditioner are connected to 15 amp sockets in power line. We can use the equation shown to select the type of fuse and cable for an electrical appliance. Three pin plug for appliances which have metallic bodies. One pin connects the appliance to the live wire, one to neutral, and one wire is connected to earth. Two pin plug for appliances which do not have metallic bodies. One pin connects the appliance to the live wire and the other to neutral. <laughs> 